Did you know? Now you can use Nano Banana and Veo3 directly inside Google Whisk. The best part? Whisk actually combines both tools, so you can use them together in one place. And unlike Gemini or Google AI Studio, where resizing images can be a real hassle, Whisk makes it super easy. It has built-in support for the three most common aspect ratios, 1 to 1, 16 to 9, and 9 to 16. Plus, it even gives you a variety of styles to choose from. All right, let me quickly show you how it works. Open Whisk, click Enter Tool, then expand the menu and you'll see Subject, Scene, and Style. Here, you can upload your own image, or if you don't have one, you can simply enter a prompt to generate an image. Let's try the outfit changing example we did earlier in Google AI Studio. First, add the person, then add the clothing to Scene. Now type in the prompt. A model is posing and wearing the following items. She is standing against a dark gray background. Next, click the Aspect Ratio button, choose 16 to 9, and hit Send. Wait a moment, and the photo is generated. Now let's switch it up. Click Aspect Ratio again, choose 916, and hit Send. And there it is, a brand new vertical image. If you hover your mouse over the image, you'll notice a little Edit button in the top left corner. This is where you can tweak or rewrite your prompt. For example, I changed mine to change the bag to red and add a pair of sunglasses to the model. Click Generate. Wait a moment, and the image updates perfectly. Next, we can instantly turn this image into a video. Just go to the top right corner of the image and click Animate. At the bottom, you can enter your video prompt. For my first try, I typed, the model is showcasing in front of the camera. But honestly, the results weren't that great, so I asked ChatGPT to help me write a more professional JSON prompt, and the outcome was so much better. If you want to learn how to get AI to write those JSON prompts for you, check out the tutorial. I've already dropped the link down in the video description. Next, let's try out the image generation feature. In Subject, type the prompt, a cute dog, then click Generate. Wait a moment, and the image appears. Now, click the little Edit button in the bottom left corner of the picture. For example, change dog to husky and hit Send. You'll get two husky images. You can also add more detail. Try typing with a dog collar on its neck. Once the images are ready, just pick the one you like and close the window. And don't worry, you can always go back to the very first one because everything is saved automatically. At the top, the plus button lets you add multiple images at once. And of course, you can delete them if you don't need them. There's also this special button. It generates a new character each time you click it. Don't like it? Just delete it. Now in Scene, type the prompt, A Beautiful Yard. Then move to Style. You'll find lots of different styles here. Try clicking through a few and choose the one you like. For example, I picked this one. It has a bit of a mosaic effect. Just keep in mind, you can only choose one style and one scene at a time. Finally, at the bottom type, this dog playing in the yard. Hit send, wait a moment. And the picture is ready. Let's try another style. Click send again. And this time, the result looks much more 3D. Now let's check out the hamburger menu in the top left corner. When you open it, you'll see a drop-down with lots of templates, like sticker, enamel pin, card, and more. Let's try enamel pin. Click it, and it's added to style. Now type the prompt. Turn this dog into an enamel pin. It's done, and the result keeps everything nice and consistent. Of course, you can also use your own style. For example, type 
in an illustration style and the image updates right away. Next, let's switch the scene. Type, this dog playing in the yard. Then click the refine button in the top left corner of the image. Here you can keep editing. For example, add a few beautiful butterflies flying above the dog. Just hit send, wait a moment, and the new image will be ready. Whisk also offers some templates. I picked one I really like, this comic. Just click make your own and we can edit it. Swap the characters for robots, change the scene, then hit send. And there it is, the comic is ready. The download and share buttons are in the top right of the image. On the very top right of the interface, you'll see my library. That's where all your projects are stored. Super handy, since you can jump back in and edit anytime. If you've got more creative ideas, drop them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll keep sharing more awesome AI tools and tips.